Hello everyone, this is Boris the Animal. Welcome back to Tamari's Summer Showdown CD Tournament. And today I'm joined by Awesome J, aka MJ, and Free Snipers. Um, do you guys mind giving us a hello? Hello. This what is Free. <laughs> this is MJ. Awesome. Thanks, guys. And we are back on the Spectacular Crash map made by Tamari. Uh, we do have everyone loading in right now. As you know, this is the playoffs, and we are going to go down the roster. MJ, would you mind going through that? Absolutely. So I, it, this could change, you know. Everybody's just been on the bandwagon of changing last minute. But as of now, um, Damn Guy is on Firebug, Mir is on Medic, and uh, Coco is on Support. Police Dom, aka Command Dom, is on Commando, of course. Um, it's Ethereal Doom is Gunslinger, and Pi Slake is Sharpshooter. It could change. <laughs> yeah, absolutely awesome. And just to run through the objectives, uh, the bonuses real quick, we do have 100 points per wave for a base score of 1,000, completing all 10 waves. We have the health bonus at 600 points, decays 100 points per death. We have the objective bonus, 200 points per objective, completed to 100%. Time bonus, which is one point per second under the par time, which you see is at 45 minutes at your upper left hand of the screen. And the infamous no medic bonus, 1.5 multiplier of whatever the final score is. What do you guys think? you have any comments before we uh, give them the go ahead? No, I'm uh, I'm interested to see how they do on the map. It's uh, it's it's a really fun map to play. It's got got a bunch of different little holds on there, and the kite is super interesting and tight. Uh, so I'm I'm excited to see uh, where they go, what they do, and how they make it work. Okay, looks like damn guy was just strolling and switched to uh, gunslinger, and Mir is on survivalist now, so they could be taking a cool. shot at the no medic bonus. So we'll see. This is uh. I would say this is the meta comp when it comes to no medic bonus. Uh, I I know Freed is uh, experience in survivalist medic. Yeah, survivalist medic is uh, it's it, it it works pretty good. Um, we were able to do it and pull it off pretty well uh, last tournament, and uh, I'm excited to see uh, another survivalist uh, healer. Yeah, the I think. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, but we did have some restrictions when it comes to survivalist medic. Uh, no heal needs, so it it's gonna be super interesting. Yeah, no heal needs. The hemogoblin is uh, nerfed quite a bit, and uh, it makes it makes it a lot harder to heal on uh, survivalist. Would you say that the the nerf was um, too much? No, I, I actually I think the the nerf on the hemogoblin is uh, it's pretty it's pretty good. It, it's nowhere near as good as it is in vanilla, but it's still it, it it's still very a very very good healing weapon. Absolutely, like pre nerf, it is so strong. Like a lot of uh, sharpshooters use it as like a flex heal. Um, I my my team from way back. Used to run no medic, I was SWAT, and one would be flexing um, as a secondary medic, uh, aside okay. from the SWAT heals. I'm going to go ahead and interject. I'm going to give them the go ahead, and we can continue uh, talking about this. If you guys are cool with that, absolutely. I guess. Absolutely. I guess that works. Super hard. All right. Yeah, absolutely. On uh, all your points there. We'll see how it goes. Uh, see if they uh, go for the same hold that uh, your team just uh, accomplished, Free. They might. I mean, that that is a really good hold, as you guys saw in our first uh, first attempt. It it definitely speeds through the waves really fast. Yeah, uh, that's actually what we were saying. You went to the secondary hold to kind of force them to hurry up and come to you and keep that time down. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. There is a trader as well, so and we are utilizing Kuzu um, for that hold. So uh, let's see how uh, Uwu's team is gonna fare. Yeah, absolutely, and it looks like they're readied up, ready to start. 
Here comes the chickens. <laughs> chickens are loose. So we've got a 4-2 split. Four on the front, two in the back. Yeah, two gunslingers up front with a sharp and the mando. And then back we got a uh, survivalist and sharp. And that spot that uh, Mur is holding is uh, what I like to call a deceptively slow spawning uh, spot. Oh, it's just, slow for now. It's slow yeah. now. <laughs> it's it's slow, but it's one of those it's one of those uh, those lanes where you just kind of you, you check and there's nothing there. You turn around and you heal someone and you turn around. There's just a, a wave of stalkers just kicking you in the face. I did notice that once they're pushed back a bit from these boxes on the left side, um, things will spawn super fast in the back. Yeah, pretty much once once they get pushed back past that part of the fence that's still up, uh, that's when they start coming from the right hand side, and then the the back lane starts getting a lot heavier. Exactly. Good trees. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. All all these chickens are kind of making me hungry. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't see any fried chickens. That's what happened <laughs> yeah. in the last match, you, right? You say that as, as <laughs> someone gets husked. <laughs> Exactly. Signature DOM extensions. Yeah, that was a super nice extension. Exactly. Ooh, are they gonna get that scrake? There we go. Too right. easy. Try to it. That is definitely one of the good things about having two sharpshooters on the team comp because you can you just get all the freezes in the world. And the the the, um, the Z time. Yep. Yeah, the procs. Yeah, look quicker. Reloading. And then the gunslingers could just go ham. That's it. Wave That's one. Easy peasy. Hmm. I wonder if they're gonna go for that objective. That would be Don't super let interesting. This law fool any of you. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to see how uh, some teams hold the objectives. Mm -hmm. I'm very psyched seeing a survivalist instead of the medic for the no medic bonus. You know, I love that. I can see their score. It's wow, four point eight k. This is this is going to be spicy. Oh, looks like they're going for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I but mean, with, with two, two with, GS, yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Freed. I was gonna say with with two gunslingers looking at those stairs right there, I I don't I don't see anything making it down those steps. I really don't either. With wave two, yeah, two GSs, two um, uh, sharps with the freezes and the mando, I think they're gonna hold it down pretty easy. But you never know. You never know. Mm. Got Merge is standing there staring at him with the two hundred one. So two way, oh three way. Hopefully, no, but nothing spawns here at the back. The thing is, right with um, with stairs, it can be a bit complicated to aim and head chase. So yeah, yeah, this is gonna be uh, interesting. Oh, Pice is. Oh, looks like back's pushed. Oh, they're pushing right back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do have a little bit of room to maneuver Pice here, is but. A bit low. Yeah, absolutely. Really have to stay on top of it. And since they're pushed back, they might start seeing some spawns down the stairs behind them. Hopefully not, though. Getting a bit hot and crowded. I'm coming through the uh, vent there. Looks like uh, Dom's lane's about to have uh, three strikes and a flesh pound walking up to him. And lots of sirens. But it looks like Coco's on it. They do need a bit of heals though. Like, that's the thing with no medic, is that you need to be on point with the heals. Because, yes, they're taking chip damage, but 
It's chip damage and it stacks up. Oh yeah, it stacks up really quick yeah. and sometimes sometimes just missing that, you know, four or five hit points is just enough to to be uh, one hit by a flesh pound. Exactly. Yeah, like you were pointing out, uh, MJ, that up angle on the stairs can really uh, make you adjust. I, I like the yeah. down angle a lot better. I wonder if they're going to, after they get the objective, if they're going to stay in or if they're going to back up through that staircase. Hmm. Nice little oh, uh, bloat freeze. Uh, shout objective. out to Emma. <laughs> yeah. oh. Yep. There Going go. out the back way. Okay, up the stairs. All right. Fortunately, it was clear. I made it out easily. I was gonna say that they're gonna go right up there. Either cross. Yeah. Looks like they're gonna cross. They might come back to this hole. Yeah. This is right above that secondary hole where you, you and MJ held. Looks like we got a full pound. Quarter pound coming in through that door. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Good freeze. They need to share oh, it. The... Share it, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Because oh, they're, they're they're one crit away, yeah. Good freeze. Yeah, man. this, with a medic, this isn't quite as dangerous, but with no mm -hmm. medic, this can be death real easy. Oh, looks like they're going to go back to the main hold. Much better. But there's one rich flesh found out. Ooh. Oh, oh no, Pice is backed in the corner. Ah, Pice oh, is fine. He, he wins these. Yeah. There you go. Easy peasy. Yeah, fortunately, they didn't aggro swap. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Great. So taking a beating. And they do have zero freezes left between the two of them, but they cleaned it up. Not gonna lie, that was a little bit of a bump culture for me. A little bit, a little bit, yeah. I'm sure, uh... I'm sure they're butt clenched too? Uh, yeah, I'm sure Pice is awake now. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I just hope he wasn't eating something and choked on something. He didn't see he eating beforehand. Oh! Oh no, Pice is super low. Okay. I'm ready to rock. Yeah, those those sweeping attacks from the, from the Scraker nasty they are and with no freezes you just have to bash and go for the kill go for the takedown but they're I low on ammo a, it looks i hope we see a goomba somewhere they yeah i'm guessing they'd have to take him yeah. back to the stairs to get yeah, that angle go. on the goomba Think. Oh. okay here comes okay. the time oh they didn't go up the stairs okay mm. they probably missed it yeah Oh, please don't. Oh, oh doom. doom. Okay, Gotta be but... careful. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah, no, that's Doom. I can read. Yes. Watch my back. Reloading. And the evil that's to come. That'll keep going. Based on where they use their trader, I think they're still gonna be holding this uh, main C D hold, as they say. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, like you said, going to that trader. Um, really good on time so far. Grab the Hemo. Okay, you go, Mer. I see you. Good choice. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, if I was a survivalist or medic, I would also choose this first. Yeah, and, and I know Freed would agree with you on that. Oh, definitely. The hemo is just so good not to use. Even even with the the nerf that it got, it's still so so good. It's still so so powerful. The debuffs and the recharge rate, although it is they say uh, equal to the 401 now, um, at least for this tournament, it's still pretty good. Great extends. I just love seeing some commandum extends. No, absolutely, and they've got that little buffer now from completing the objective, so 200 points for that. Oh! Ice is flying. Flying. Flying chicken. Exactly. More like falling with style. <laughs> I 
I know one thing they have to watch out for this hold is uh, sirens and husks that come around that right corner. And then uh, up on the top, sometimes the husks will come up there and shoot down at them. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And going without the medic, it makes those commando extensions worth so much, even more valuable oh, yeah. than they were before. That FP is going to time rage soon. Oh, good freeze, just in the nick of time. Yeah, since they had the two sharps, I thought they might get it real quick, and it looks like they did. They got two husks shooting at them. And a lot of trash coming out of that alleyway you were just talking about, Freed. That deceptive alley. <laughs> yeah, it's... The moment you turn away from it, you just get it, you just get swamped by either crawlers, stalkers, or the, the fidget spinner. Rioters can come out there as well. Yeah, rioters and sirens are what I hate the worst coming out of there. You get the, the rare husk every now and then. Oh, good blow freeze. <laughs> I know, I know Elmo likes that. Oh. Okay, front They're push, just chewing so... through these Zeds. They need the Z time to clear everything. They really do, yeah. Clear it back and push right back to where they were. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say they were uh, getting pushed. Oh. Ooh, I was going to say that they're just uh, oh. getting ready for Z time. <laughs> That's the thing with this lane as Commando. Like, It looks like Corridor, wherein the Zeds could stack, and the Commando could just be overwhelmed with Zeds. Like, oh, there's so many choices, I don't know which one to <laughs> go for. Like, seriously. <laughs> like, you get so overwhelmed. Oh. Just break on the right side. Yeah. So, and they're ooh, doing that was a good freeze. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. they're doing such Ow. a good job of watching out for each other because, like you had said, if you get whittled down, it doesn't take very many hits to, to lose your players, your teammates. Right on target. And last break. Wandering out, thinking about his life choices. Nice. Yep, he's taking a sweet time. <laughs> Another objective. Let's see where this is at. Yeah, this is this is really ballsy. Going for no medic and the objectives on top of it. So, Anyone I really like this. Ooh, looks like they might be going snow. for it. Ooh. That's that's what it looks like to me. Oh, yeah. yeah. This cat's back in the game. I mean, now, this, wave this... four, it, it gets deceptively stronger, a little bit, little bit ramped up. You start feeling it here. I feel. Okay. Yeah, Police Tom's gonna have that hallway all pretty much to himself. I'm sharp, ready to go there. This is gonna be. Uh... Everyone, I guess. Loading up the door. It's very tight, very compact area here. Ooh, they're gonna have a uh, flesh pound knocking on that door soon. Now they're really gonna have to manage their freeze as if they get pushed. I really like this trigger discipline discipline from Dom, saving the trash Zeds until Zed time. Yeah, absolutely. If uh, the teammates start taking out away all that trash, uh, he won't have anything to extend off of. Ooh, Pice is taking a beating. This is so closed in. If anything should go haywire, it's going to be hard to get out if they're overwhelmed on both sides. So. Exactly. And just as you said it, there's Zed time. Yeah, beautiful Zed times. Next big coming up.
Yeah, anything that anything that comes through that door or up those stairs is just getting hit with a wall of bullets. And I did notice uh, Damn Guy and Doom did not grab any grenades, so offset uh, their economy for everyone else that needed it. Which is always good management. Oh, wow. Zed seem to be targeting Pice a lot. Can smell okay. the food, man. <laughs> <laughs> they can smell the food. Okay. Mandolin getting some spiciness with that single FP, but seems to be taken care of. And they are pushing outside of the objective hold a little bit, but they have plenty of Zeds to, to finish it off. Sometimes it's good to just go ahead and take down those largest, get get out of that objective and mm -hmm. take them down quick. They're about to have another uh, flesh pound walking through that door. He's just taking his time, stomping around. And the good thing is, like, oh, they're done. I was just gonna say that on these stairs, FPs don't time rage, so they could just be walking in calm. Yeah, I'm actually wondering if they're gonna cut. It looks like they are cutting out. Okay, yep. I thought they might hold it because it's a little difficult to get out of here. Mm. One block to block, and it could be devastating. Yeah, they had four watching front and two in the back. You really have to, when you kite like that, you have to have people managing both sides. Oh, you don't want to get stuck on that railing. And they are getting low on ammo. So going to manage off this last teens of Zeds. They have all the time that, uh, because their score is really high. They're now out of freezes. Yes, they are out of freezes. Very low on ammo. They may have to go to 9 mil takedowns pretty soon. That's all right. Horzine gave them knives for a reason. <laughs> Goomba question mark? Goomba strats? <laughs> Hear all the pea shooters <laughs> shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Got that debuff going. Slows him down. There yeah. he goes. Easy peasy. This team is stacked. Make everyone count, mate. I don't know if it felt easy for them, but they sure made it look easy, didn't they? It did. It they did, did look did, pretty easy. Did. Ooh, Carbine Corruptor by Murr. Ooh, that makes me a little nervous. The the, corrupt, the corruptor carbine is is a really strong healing weapon, but if they have to kite, that's going to be a lot of lost heals. Yeah, I believe uh, Jenny had even mentioned that. And the sentry, the sentinel, hey. very nice. Yeah, uh, making an appearance for the Jeff, first time for semifinals. Yeah. yeah, Jeff is back. Shout out to Ronga. Jeff. <laughs> but yeah, even uh, Jenny had mentioned about that Ooh, carbine corruptor jumped. on the kites, uh, dropping that going for the four one. I do like the placement though, so it watches the the the, the fence. That alley, yeah, yeah. I yes. like that too. I'm doing shenanigans with the knife extensions. Let's go. Looks like, looks like they're gonna have a Giga coming up on the right hand side of them. Ooh. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, triple up the they're gonna, get freeze. they're gonna get frozen and deleted. Yeah, and that time should proc pretty soon. Mm. There you go. And just clean up the rest. Very nice. Dom's got plenty of extends.
It's hard to believe they're at wave five. They are on fire. Definitely. Oh, FP on the rage in the back, and yes, they see it in there. Very nice takedowns. Two quarters, they're deleted. Easy. Yeah, I couldn't even spit that out in time. They were already gone. <laughs> A lot of people underestimate QPs, but they run really fast in their calm state. And if you don't take care of them, they could just easily take space. Absolutely. So that's why you need to take care of them right away. Yeah, you really have to manage your positioning like a chessboard sometimes with this. And they're doing a great job. So the Sentinel is out of ammo and Making quick work of the back. Damn guy not even flinching on the siren. The rest of his team just helping with that. Oh. And he's just taking him down. There's ninja sirens behind them. I sure hope they notice. Yeah, I know we talk about Huss, how much we hate them, and how we have to take them down quickly, but Sirens, oh, I hate them. Nullifying mm -hmm. your freeze is just wreck your day. Oh, yeah. That, and if they sneak up on you behind a group of bloats that ASL, you know, usually has ASL all over the place. <laughs> yeah, uh, just you'll, screaming you'll... in your ear. Yeah. And you... You'll... Go ahead. Taking your health down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you, you pop, pop a couple bloats' heads, and all of a sudden there's a choir of... Uh of sirens just hanging out behind them that start screaming. Police song grabbing the Sentinel again. Nice. Seems to be working. It, they are pulling out all the stops. I am so impressed. Yeah, I was going to say, I wonder if they're going to double them up back there. And they are. They are, yeah. There's uh, from one from Coco and one from Dom. I'm a little curious on why Dom put his back there because they they uh they'll shoot in Z time that might mess up his uh, extensions a little oh, bit. You're right. If so they I'm, do get too close, yeah, uh, that I'm, happened I'm, to I'm us. I'm surprised uh, Murr or Coco hasn't thrown one back there. I believe um it's it's two for the restrictions. You can only do two sentinels. I see. Oh, those hush shots on the right. Nice dodges. Here comes two feet. Should be Some easy. Cutie pounds. Cutie pounds. We got two full pounds. Sure, gonna freeze it. Or are they? Nope. They're just gonna take it like a Chad. Oh, they probably saw that siren back there and didn't want to waste the freeze. Um, yeah, they're definitely. They're definitely. Giga chatting right now. <laughs> cool. And I would say War Room, but they're not really giving us anything to War Room on. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're probably sitting there uh, talking about Jeff and his friend back there just killing everything. Yeah, they're probably telling each other, hey guys, let's just kill everything and not even give them a chance to warm her. Very nice. We got a. Oh, never mind. The crawler got gotted. Oh, there's we got a, a scrape on the right side. Oh, yes. Oh, I hope somebody sees it. Okay, Z time is. Oh, looks like oh, it's going to get hit. It's doing it. It's doing oh, it. Oh, God. It keeps like Mer hasn't said anything. Oh. Oh, good stuff. It's good. It's good. That was all part of the plan. Oh, that was such beautiful extensions. Absolutely. No, I'm doing yeah, another, else. another thing with that corruptor carbine is uh, if the if he shoots a seed in the middle of the crowd and it pops, 
You can wind up killing a lot of Zed time too. Yeah, killing all your trash. And that's actually what I was worried about with the largest. They can start munching up your trash too. So yeah. yeah. Like, it seems like they know that you're going to extend Zed time off of them, so they hide behind. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Zeds are learning. And Coco and Murr are doing such a good job of holding the back. It's so imperative with no medic. They're mm -hmm. making it look like they have a medic. It's <laughs> an incredible job. Murr's running uh, oh Hemo. Oh, Corruptor. triple that's, epi. That's oh, set time. That is oh, a lot of epi. Oh, a lot of epi. Yeah, this is this is gonna hurt. They got freezes though. They still have uh, six freezes. Yeah, and Pice has to get out of there. Yeah, he's one crit away. Oh man. Oh no. Oh, oh they got. Oh. No. Oh no, that's not. Good. Oh, and those Warum? those sentinels are enraging the flesh bounce. Yeah, I was going to say they might have to offset on parries, but it looks like they missed it. Shall we go Warum or? Yeah, good call. Let's do yeah. it. Last time, last time. Quick left. Oh, to my buddy's internet back. Do we have a do we have a super scrape, brother? We do. Okay, Coco and I got the super scrape, brother. Everyone else had the traitor. You got a freeze? Sec. Well so when you guys get want to take hits, do you guys have to not walk back? You have to walk in like different directions so that you don't get multi-hit. Well, we joined just in time for them to, <laughs> <laughs> just to make quick work. Yeah, but that was super scary though. That was super scary. It, so yeah, it got many... intense, but they, they flexed off each other very well. Yeah. I think I saw like seven? FPs over there? I don't know. Or maybe five or seven. Oh, my my eyes could be deceiving me, but that was super cool. That was, it was probably, I think, six? Mm. And then a couple scrapes. I think Police Dom just grabbed the foul. I see you, Police Dom. The meta commando. Yeah, foul 401. <laughs> it is KFC would uh might give us a sponsorship. Yes, who decided to let me back online? Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, well, the guys on mine that have in the front. Ooh, they're lined up, ready to go. One down. Can we get another? Ooh. Dom's got this. I like how they pushed out of the objective to, to take them out and then just fall back into it. Mm. They are communicating so well together. And I know it gets, when you see those gigas, you, you start stressing a little bit, but they're doing such a great job. I know this team's been practicing this run a lot too. Actually, like was hanging out with them, and they're they're working on this exact uh, strategy they're doing now. So they've had a lot of practice with NMB, uh, especially after what happened last week. With like they had a crazy match last week with a bunch of ninja mm. FBs and stuff like that, and this is like a complete 180 from that. Not that it, last week was their fault or anything, of course. It was just like crazy, but yeah, they're just totally locking it down. Oh, it looks like there's a triple on main. I believe they got this. They need to freeze that though. There yeah. we go. Excellent freeze. I think Ice has mastered the the freeze throw. Kobe. Kobe. Look at the score, man. This is crazy. It's insane. These teams have just come out swinging today. This is only game one. They still have a second game to play in this set, right? So they could, if they were to do this again, 
I mean, talk about, I mean, they'd almost have 10k. You know, they say they got two 4k's, it'd be like 8,000 points, so. They still have three, three more waves to go, though, so I imagine if they keep this up, they'll end up with like 3,500, 3,300 maybe, somewhere in that range. They're very close, they're uh, at 85%. I believe they should be able to pull this off. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna hold it down pretty easy. Or at least making it look easy. There they go. And they're done. Dude, 600 OB, that's crazy. What I was worried Quarter about. Quarter making an appearance. Oh, oh and two FPs in the back. Oh, I'm sorry, MJ. Oh, sorry. I, w I was just worried about the um, the positioning with that hold because if they let the Zeds just walk through the main hold, Coco could get pushed and he's the only one um, with Mir, of course, flexing a survivalist. Yeah, exactly. I, I just I noticed they were uh, watching left and right at the corner of the trains. Uh, you can get so many large spawns. Uh, it can be a little deceptive at times. Yeah, they also have that roof that's right next to Mir. It's to Mir's right at the moment. Uh, like the main building, I guess, if you will. And a husk can spawn up on top of that. Absolutely, yeah. They can get sniped from all the way, like sniper elite husk basically from all the way over there. And that's not good when you have nowhere to go uh, except being in the zone. Oh, and the scrape got back up. No, I thought he was dead. I did too. And then he got up and said, I got a lot of more, paper champion. <laughs> all right, what did he say? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's my Rocky 3. <laughs> Boris has always got his references on deck. Yeah, my old references that nobody else understands except for a select few. Uh, you just said it really fast. I'm kind of slow, so I didn't hear it as quick as you said it. <laughs> well, plus I got that Texan draw, so it makes everything more complicated. Oh, you're an artist? We well, almost got a fantastic replay of the triple FP freeze from Pice Lake. That's uh, some good it's, stuff. Yeah, yeah that's stuff. dope. I was going to add on to what MJ said about that hold and just mention that, like, in general with NMB, it's all about execution and being fast. When you see that triple FP, you can't hesitate. You have to freeze them, get them down, because the last thing that you want to have happen to you is get things stacked up on you, because you're very susceptible to the snowball, right? Which I think you guys already mentioned earlier in the cast, but it's just important to mention it again that that's what these guys are up against for this like no matter what at any point in this match that could happen and they could lose like everybody and it's just a wipe and that's it oh triple you know? fp out the back yeah, yeah absolutely to my snowballing is bad even with a medic but now that they have no medic it makes it so much more difficult to manage well, they dropped oh. that Z time, and now the FP's raged on damn guy in the back, but I think they're going to be able to get him down. Yeah, Coco's I believe. Beat up a little bit. Come on, Coco. Oh. They can recover. Oh, no, don't get trapped. Oh, that oh. Z time is fortunate. That oh. was very yeah. fortunate. I was, I was nervous. They got I was a bit scared. In the back. Oh. Nice. Yeah, Good they job, got that Jeff. down. I was just going to say! <laughs> Jeff coming in hot right there. Yeah, what? Yeah, the worst thing that could have happened right there for Coco was if he got crit, and they didn't have the Z time, it would have been almost impossible for them to save him because he was facing away from everybody. But hey, Z time came in clutch right there. And Jeff. Really as well. did. And he was backed into that corner and wouldn't have been able to get out if he took that hit. Here comes a triple FP in the front lane right now to the right. About to walk around the corner in a second here. And the Z time's going to drop, so they have to deal with this in real time. Actually, they're taking a shortcut through the building. Let's oh. see if they see them. Let's see if they see them coming in. Oh, uh, hopefully they'll get a freeze or get the extension. Oh, double hit. Oh, good set time. Yeah, good set time. Oh, man. To have that, no problem. Yeah, and then they ended up getting it down. Another triple IP again, this time left side front. I think that time will probably activate in the middle of this because they have those sharpshooters, so just got to keep getting headshots here. That was a quick... Uh... Sentinel redeployment from Coco. He threw down his guns, picked up the Sentinel, threw it back there, and went right back to killing it just in time. That is uh, something we notice if you throw down your guns, throw up the Sentinel, throw down the Sentinel, and then pick up your guns again, you're right back to where you started with your loadout. Yep. Good job on Pyslake's part, by the way, during that uh, triple FP push. 
Uh, he he realized that Zod time wasn't popping up anytime soon, so he just tossed the freeze. So that's worth it, in my opinion. Ooh, like a lot of cool yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's absolutely worth. It. That's what I would have done too. It's just better to better to get them down safely than have it go wrong, and then you're on the back foot, and that's not Ooh, good. Coco's getting hit from Coco's. behind. You know, another good benefit of having that uh, Sentinel back there is uh, it lets you know when something's coming most of the time. One of the other dangers about this hold, by the way, um, I apologize if you guys have mentioned this already, but the, one of the, big, the, the biggest dangers in this map in general is the long visibility. And whenever you have long visibility, you have problems with husks, yeah. And in this lane in particular, with which is where uh, the commando is currently, that side, they have lots of issues with husks because they like to group up behind all the stuff coming in. And, oh, I'll, wait, hold on a second. Quad FP coming in front right now. Oh. I would freeze that Quint, one. Quint FP. Quint, holy oh, crap. Holy shit. Can't take multi hits here. They need to avoid that. That's not good. No charge. Right, they're strong. Oh, the one in the back, if they get it. They can carry these pounds. Got this. Nice debuffs. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Good job. Really good take That's right there. Nice. And those debuffs manage it so well, slows them down, helps <laughs> keep that lane short. Oh, yeah. The, the Hemogoblins debuffs are huge. Yeah. Dude, we are on wave 9, 2743. Mm -hmm. and the, This is insane. And no medic. Yeah. And we have 2,000. Yeah, that's score. what I was going to say. That yeah. score is insane. Insane. And we have another objective, too. And, and I can't really see them not going for this because, honestly, this objective, in my opinion, isn't really that bad. But they may decide to play it safe. We'll see. But that would be another uh, 300 points, right? Because it is 1.5x NMB. But, uh, yeah, all I was trying to say earlier was just about the husks. That's, like, oh, the biggest thing I have to worry it. about. Oh, they're not going for it. Interesting. I mean, I can't really blame them. They've got a good score on deck right now, and they have another game still to play, so there's really no reason to put it in jeopardy Absolutely. if they don't feel comfortable, you know? And it does start ramping up uh, Wave 9 and Wave 10, so... Yeah. Maybe they're just, uh... Didn't think it was worth it. Yeah. Yeah, that hold does get spicy around Wave 9 and 10. Mm -hmm. Oh, so spicy. I really love this use of uh, two sentinels though in the back. That's really cool. That's a really smart usage of them. They've learned through, probably through debug mode, they've learned that no larges come from back there, so they don't have to worry about them raging any FPs or anything. It just kills everything that walks through there. I remember Freed asking me if there are uh, larges that spawn there, and I asked him back, like, can the larges fit in, in that railing? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, they, they can. They can get through it. <laughs> Yeah, Jeff and Zeph are doing some work back oh, there. Yeah. Triple FP coming in. They need to freeze that. Man, the front is getting kind of hammered now. There's like seven scrakes coming or something. Yeah, there's like... There you go. Beautiful freeze. freeze. They need this Oh, and Zed time. They need... Yeah, oh, absolutely. Doom can do so much damage right here if he gets aggressive and Dom manages to get the Zed time. There he goes. Oh. Beautiful yep. Zed time. Oh, that nice takedowns. So nice. That was good. Yeah, that is the power of Zed time, my friends. That is insane. There's a scrape on the right that they haven't seen yet, but uh, they picked him up already. Ice is on it. Yeah. Great stuff right there. That was insane. But there's a bit of a roadblock going on right now. There's a triple FP. Ooh, and that. Is that going to rage him? No, that nail bomb didn't raise the FP. Still got to get on this, though, because there's two, three FPs raging right now, and there's a husk shooting at them, too. And two FPs are and going and through two, the building on the two, right. Exactly. Uh, this could be maybe a war room situation. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's Just go. Push back so far. Yeah, let's go to their war room. Let's go check it out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Got full infantry. Only I mean, not sure, not sure, not sure, not sure. Very nice. Oh. That's it, no more. Okay, go okay. Oh. Keep oh, moving, guys. Oh, we still got spawns. Oh my god. I'm gonna take this aggro. We have to get through this fast. Go, 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 go. Push kills on the half. Nice. Good. Keep going. Alright, keep going. We do not want to fight here. Let's go. Found a, found a QP. Pass. Uh, Sorry, flash power. Nothing, nothing. Go kill, 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 shoot. Nice. Alright, hear each other. Stop each other. 
Guys, there's stairs below. Get away from us. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Doom, back up, back, back up, back up. Careful with the hacks. Doom, please, please. Yep. Taking I'm the next one. Oh my god, you almost lost that. I'm gonna take this one. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's okay, behind. Heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me. Yeah, yeah. I got this one, I got this one. Oh, you don't, go around he the doesn't want me. He doesn't want me. Oh, I'm, I'm one, I'm one. I'm one solo. Yep. No, not sure, not sure. Don't kill silent. I, I think I got it. Okay. I got a crash uh, bomb. That's it, no more. Sorry. That's okay. Get over the barricade. Get up, get up. Get up. Too high. Oh, too high. Too heal me, heal me, heal me. Somebody has to take flesh pound hits. Mir. Up. I take it. Okay. I'll take next. Don't okay. Don't get out, get out, get out. Oh, freeze. Do we have freeze? Freezing. Go freeze, go freeze. Another one, another one. Not sure, not sure. Back up, back up, back up. Okay. Keep everyone topped up. Yeah. Yep, on it. I'm freezing that stray. Okay, full okay. Got two essence. Nice, nice, nice. alright. Push, push forward, push forward. Right, because they're hunting now. Yeah, we can finish them. Oh, this is nice because we had a way far. Yep. Good heals, no. good heals, man. Yeah. The the flesh pound hordes arrive. Right, this spawns are good. Like. Wow, that was a really good teamwork right there during that. Excellent. One thing I want to call out about that kite that's really important to mention is uh, the team's use of like their own health pulls. Uh, so when I think it was Doom that got hit pretty low and damn guy ran in and blocked FP for him. That's a that's a really smart tactic to do in general. Uh, a lot of a lot of players like tend to just get scared and just run away. You know, like it's the normal thing to do. But uh, you can take hits no problem for one another as long as everybody's paying attention and managing their health pulls, and that really helped them a lot get through that kite. Really good. Also, uh, I almost peed in my pants from that. <laughs> that uh, not gonna lie. Not sharing hits is also huge too, when when you're when you're taking the, the hits like that, because not having a medic, you know, with a medic you can share hits a little tiny bit it's a little bit more forgiving but with with no medic man that's that's three people get hit at once and all the darts are gone for like five minutes it yep. feels like and the communication for heals that's it was great oh a couple of husks but yeah. jeff is gonna take them down i'm sure yeah like jeff. like Fried said the communication and like the execution is important right if you fall behind that's the danger of nmb is you you don't catch back up usually and we've yeah. seen that already like what three times already this tournament all really great attempts right but the same exact thing happened every single time and it was that a snowball occurred and you just can't come back from it and that's not really it's just the nature of the bonus you know so they're they're you can tell by their comms that they're they're being very cognizant of that which is good and also also uh, coco froze that rage scrape too which is also good for that same reason Here comes a rage fp got a double hit though we just talked about that actually that's not good but should be okay, I think. Great freeze again. PP kind of getting through, but no one's really looking at it. I think Dom should be able to get it though. Yep. Ooh. Wow, and you got a Giga. He still managed to get that Rioter. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, aiming Ooh, for the quad, log. Quad FPs. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, look at that. Oh, they have There's to five FPs one. here. Oh, one time rage. They may have to kite. This might be another kite, yeah. Is that time right now? Behind him too. Oh, oh yeah. Really, it yeah. really needs that time to proc. This is hairy. Oh my god. Ice can't take another. Oh. oh no. Ooh. You guys wanna go back again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like it. Sure, sure. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go back. <gasps> nothing. Nothing. Okay. Ollie, I'm sorry. I'm bailing. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We have to get through this middle part. Yep. Just yep. run through middle. Focus run, focus Mir run. Mirror, just keep healing. Or Don't heal out. Uh, close the back, close the oh, no. back. Okay, never mind. I'm yeah, freezing, I'm freezing. Okay, ice, ice froze. Never mind. Freeze again, freeze again, freeze again. What are these Chinese freezes? 
I don't know. Okay, we have to it. take some FPs here now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Put, yeah. Put arm. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, don't no, kill no. us. Okay. I can't see shit. Don't start the scrape, please. Leave Scrakes alone. I, I'm, I'm taking a hit. Front, front is clear. Alright, alright. Back up, back up, back up. I'm taking this one. I need got, heals. Got another one. Yep, got you. Got coffee in. Let's speak no more. I got hit. Oh, back, up, back 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 up. Get to the barricade. Stop behind. Oh, that's a lot of FPs. We need to start taking some. Yeah, we're gonna take them. We need to take them. Okay. Good job. Okay. Do not re -rage. Do not re -rage. Take the QP. QP down. I just dropped. Drop, drop, drop. Right, I dropped. Okay, drop, I dropped. Drop, drop, drop. Drop, drop. FPS. Do not want me. Kill this one. Kill this one. Hold on. Heal Dom, heal Dom, heal Dom, heal Dom. Take the rage one, take the rage one. Nothing, nothing, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no. I have no freezes. I don't think Pice has freezes either. No, no, no. Don't, don't, oh, okay, okay. Take him down, take him down, take him down. Oh, I'm so low. I need, I need heals, I need heals. Yeah, I'm going keep healing, keep healing. Keep healing. I'm watching on front. Rendezvous, rendezvous. Oh, oh shit. Oh, balls. Oh, shit. That's bad. Alright, we okay. need to all we heal this, We got this, we got this. Yeah, yeah, we got this. Got, uh... Essential. You can go for a fifth half. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hit no more. Alright, let's go, let's go. We, we do not want to fire. They're gonna spawn here. Double FP front. Double FP front. Let's go, let's go. Freeze, freeze, and go, freeze, and go. No freeze. No right, freeze. Kill pistol, bash, and go, bash, and go. Kill, 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 kill. Okay, never mind. Kill, 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 Bastion, Bastion, pick up your pistol. I need heals really badly. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm sorry. No, no, you're okay. You're okay. I took the aggro. Three rages. I'm took it. I took Kill it. Me. I took it. There's a, there's a goblin. Watch out. Back. Cover. Come on, come on, come on, please. Oh, the mechan. Go down, go down. Raging strike on guard. There's a scrape, there's a scrape. Oh, oh. Yeah. I could use some heals. Fuck on his face. Fuck on his face. Back up, back up, back up. Kick him. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> go, go, heal me. Oh, god. Heal each other, heal each other. Heal Coco, heal Coco, heal Coco. You have four more uh, time ranges. Yeah. Four more FPs? Okay. Oh my god. We got this, we got this. Stay, 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 stay. I need heals. Can you take that trash on front so I don't run into it? Okay. I don't have that 14. Go oh, fat behind! Oh, flash, 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 flash. Focus front, focus front, Doom. Focus front, Doom, please! Please! Take out pistol and flash. Take out pistol and flash. You doom, you doom if you can. Alright, run, 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 run. Alright, prepare to heal Coco, prepare to heal Coco. He's almost dead. Us low. Nice, nice, nice. Get the streak, streak. Nice, nice. Don't take one to hit. Don't take one to hit. Oh! Balls, okay. Doom, doom, yeah, come on. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> 995. Okay, we need to go. Oh man, that was so close. 20 seconds. I am on the edge of my seat right now. Oh, yeah. Wow.
I could feel the pressure just yeah. like coming out of my screen. That was a really good try right there, honestly. They did everything right. They just got unfortunately whittled down over time. Yeah, that wave 10 has got super hands. It's hard. Yeah, it's no medic. Oh my God, they did so well. So unforgiving. And like, you know, again, something I want to call out about that, uh, that I think was good was how um, damn guy was calling out to use a pistol. That's something that I know he picked up from me because I taught him how to do that. And the reason why he said that was because when you use a one-handed weapon, pistol, you know, the syringe, the welder, etc., you will bash faster at a higher rate of fire and a faster swing speed. And the reason why he called it out is so that they could more easily bash the larges as they're trying to run through the middle. And uh, that's I think that was just really good. Yeah. You have no idea how many... Uh of those bashes have saved my life in hell uh hell script and this map as well that railroad track is super dangerous like if you don't yeah. if you don't have freezes uh oh, it's it's very difficult to get through yep and that's actually one of the reasons why this map is in the semifinals and not you know near the beginning of the tournament because it it's the hole isn't actually that bad it's the kite that sucks right and mm. i think this is the only map that i can think of maybe save for a couple in cd where you basically always need a freeze for the middle like you have mm. to have a freeze it's that bad um and you also can you can actually kite too fast even in this map as well uh where you'll you'll get around the edge too quickly to the one-way drop and you actually will have stuff turn around and come back from the front so it's like a very technical kite right and uh that, i think that being said they did a really great job of holding that together though still so. So we are going to be moving into the second scenario here now. So they will be um, there will be a, di a different set of objectives and a different boss as well. This time it will be Matriarch. And from the looks of it, it looks like they are again going to be doing the exact same composition. So no changes there. Which, if that's the case and they pull this off, right, then honestly that last run, I think they said they got 995. That's not even really that big of an issue. Like they could still get a very competitive score that might still actually be higher than what CSE, you know, is able to get later on if they pull this off. And they're going at it like Chad's. Not even a single five-minute break from from the previous one. Yeah, and like you yeah. said, Tamari, no uh, change in the team comp, so just going with the same setup. Yeah, it's hard to say, right? Because like we don't exactly know what will happen later, um, but it it's it's good. Like they might have to be deciding to do this again so they can have the buffer in case uh, chainsaw enthusiasts do you know do do something like crazy like this as well, then they want to have the extra bucket for that, you know? It's, it's hard to say really, but that's one of the fun things about semis and about the whole playoff bracket is that now you're versing another team. So you have to think about that as well, in addition to your own gameplay. It's like, well, what were they going to do, you know? So anyway, that could have factored in perhaps, but we'll have to see. I like I like the fact that Mira just has his um, syringe on, so he can he's prepared to take heals and not even taking out Zeds. We have our first scrape up right now in the back with Coco, but he managed to... Oh, he didn't get the... That's a bit unfortunate. He didn't manage to get the kill in time, so he had to waste a freeze on it. It's one less freeze that they're going to have for the remainder of this wave. I just hope they don't get discouraged for this run, and we actually get to see the boss. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be discouraged if I were Uwe there. I mean, they, they played so well. Like I said, they honestly, like, they didn't really do anything wrong on that mm -hmm. kite. They were just like, that was just the nature of, like, the map and the bonus at the hand, you know? They actually did really well. They did. If that doesn't happen again, like, they'll actually nail this, I think. And I would actually argue as well, personally, that I think that fighting a single matriarch is actually easier than fighting two Hans. I would say it is definitely easier, based on practice. Yeah. Because they just need to get her gun down and just avoid the Tesla beam. If they can do that, then they should have that no problem. Even with no medic. Let's see if they have some special strats for uh, Maddie. Because we already know that you can bait out the, the plasma and the um, the EMP. What do you call that? The electricity one? <laughs> I don't actually know what it's called. but I always just call it a Tesla chain Tesla, lightning yeah, or Tesla, something like that. Yeah. yeah, chain lightning. Yeah, I've, My brain, it's... <laughs> it, it's 3 a.m. Three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. No, you're you're a beast for being here right now, doing this with us. That's it's really cool. Yeah, just here. after a match as well. Oh my god. Yeah. Are you, sure. are you there? <laughs> nope, I'm here. 
<laughs> I'm awake. <laughs> Now that being said, one other thing I want to bring up here, um, and I have actually seen this reflected in the chat as well, is uh, the objectives. The objectives on scenario B, which is where you know we're currently on now, are objectively worse, <laughs> for lack of a better term, than the ones in A. Uh, there aren't very many hold positions in this map in general, and most of the good ones were in, in scenario A. So that means that they're going to have to think about that again because of what CSC might do, right? We don't know, but they, they must be thinking about that in their head about like, do we want to go for them and risk the NMB, or do we want to go for them to get the points because we might need the points for later, right? Like, that's something that they actually have to think about in this match. And we'll have to see. I mean, obviously, they're not going for two. Wave two objective is down in the sewer there, and that's uh, pretty bad. Yeah, it's spicy. Yeah, that one's not looking good, Chief. I wouldn't go for that either if it were me as well. You know, just something they have to think about. Or they could play really fast too and just get a really good uh, score by virtue of time, right? So mm -hmm. that could be good enough. A few front, but they got Zed time. Should be able to get this. I also want to call out everybody's loadout choices too. Um, all of the precision perks, you know, the, the gunslingers and sharp, they all bought a center fire on wave two, which sounds. Oh. oh. Ninja QP again? Yeah. Making an appearance? See that. <laughs> yeah, a little sneaky QP. Yeah, they got on him very quickly though. Yeah. A good job on their part there for that. Uh, but the use of the SPX though is good here because even if they can't get the upgrades on it, it one-shots Riders, right? It's a, just it's the best tier 2 weapon in the game, so the fact that Ethereal Doom even went for that as well in Gunslinger means he can get long distance large kills during that time now, which is helpful for the hold. Gotta get this Hus that's back there right now. He's gonna keep plinking away. Oh, Pies, unfortunately. Oh! Oh, what? Oh, that. Oh, oh my no. god. Oh, the freeze! Oh, the freeze! Oh my oh, god. Oh my. Yeah, dude. That was a crit. That wasn't that... gonna be a crit. That was insane. It was about to be the, the calm hit combo right there. And uh, I don't. Yeah. I didn't. I think it was Coco that threw that because Pies was on the other side. Wow, that was insane. They saved Great their HP reaction. right there. Great reaction, to be honest. Yeah. That's like play of the game right there. That was beautiful. Hey, okay. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> I, I don't know if my nerves can take this. We've already done one. Dude, holy shit. That was insane. <laughs> Did you guys see what happened to Doom as well? Ethereal uh, like yeah. jumped over the FP with the Hus rocket on accident. <laughs> and he's, he's saved himself from getting hit. Do you have a replay of that, Tamari? Yeah, I'm watching the replay and seeing if Elmo caught <laughs> right, that. Was, that was yeah. so cool. Elmo got an insane replay of that freeze. That was really, really, really good. Because <laughs> it, it would have just sucked, right? They would have just lost points right there. They would have beat the wave, like, no doubt. It was like the last set in the wave, but they would have just lost HP. And he that one freeze just saved them 100 points, if not more. So I'm going to have to calm down after that one. That was a tense. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. The value of Sharpshooter, man. That's why freezes are the best grenade in the game. And, and uh, yeah, it's there's two perks in CD that are just so vital, and it's sharpened commando. I mean, they're all good, but man, those two are just we're seeing it right here, right in action of why those two perks are so good. Yeah, they really let all the other perks shine. Exactly. There's a thing that my friend Max always says, and he mentions that uh, all of CD is basically just trying to make the gunslinger's life easier, and it's kind of true when you think about it. You know, Sharp just basically freezes everything. All Gunslinger really has to do is just shoot stuff, and everybody else has a much harder time keeping everything chill. Yeah, I thought you were going to say uh, Max is saying about Hus. <laughs> oh yeah, Max also hates Hus. Shout out to Max getting triple sniped by three Hus on Fryer. Sorry, Max, I had to do it. <laughs> Oh, looks like he missed the freeze, but second one hit. Yeah, there is a FP that's a. Uh... Okay, there's. Oh, okay, there's oh. four husks up right now. These They need to oh, get. Oh, looks down. like. Oh, Coco's in the back. Really oh, Coco. Thank goodness. 
Oh wow, nice, yeah. I didn't even notice that. Nice, they got the FP down. Coco got his scrape down as well. They just gotta get these husks. These husks need to die. There's like even a husk on Coco's lane too. Like, that's another problem with this hold is that you can have crossfire between husks on lanes. There you go, nice. They got everybody down. Some Gorfiend's on Mir right now. He has to reload though, he needs oh. help with these. Mir has oh, to reload. Oh good, Zed time. Oh. Yeah, and that Zed's uh, spontaneous Zed's explosion. Uh, yeah, the Zed Shrapnel saved him and stunned the Gorfiend's. Yeah, it came in clutch, as usual. Yeah. Police Dom is doing such a good job on, on keeping the Zed time extended. So how are you feeling, Freed? Are you still just cooling down from that last wave? Yeah, I'm just kind of just kind of <laughs> watching, and listening to you guys commentate, and looking for stuff to, to say something on. Like, uh, there's two two flesh pounds on Coco right now. Yeah, yeah and a husk too. It's the end of the wave, so it should be calmed down. Uh, Coco just got his serving of spicy meatballs right there. Fried chicken. Complimentary. Yeah, fried chicken. How's that? That makes you want to get a fried chicken right now. But it's 3 a.m. <laughs> oh, oh, you gotta watch out for that! Oh. that freeze, though. Again, great job. <sighs> risky. That was so risky. They out of freezes? They are. Yeah, they're out of freeze. Freeze uh, oh, still alive. Freeze. Oh, this Craig isn't dead. Nice. Oh yeah, look at this objective, guys. You think they're gonna go for this one? I do. <laughs> oh, this is yeah, evil. They went for it last time, so I do. <laughs> uh, so, uh, look, okay, I'm gonna defend myself here, and I'm just gonna say like, there's literally no other objectives I could have chosen. <laughs> I, needed, I needed to choose four of them, and then, like, I, I hate this one, but I didn't know what mm. else to put. <laughs> Can you imagine though if they actually did this? It, it, it would be really hard. Dropping down from the left, coming yeah. in from the, <laughs> the right. Actually, so bad. Like that building, like Boris said, with the right next to the fire barrel, they'll have Zeds dropping literally on their head, which is uh, not good. So. No, and and the hus sniping from up top. I hate that. They that could just be displaced though. easily, yeah. It is possible to do though. Yeah. Like, there's different objective strategies that are probably too risky for this kind of a run since you're doing NMB. And also, it would probably require certain perk compositions, but they could actually do it though. It's possible. Mm. This may not be in the cards for their setup here. Yeah, I can't say I blame them. I, I honestly thought they might go for it since they went for the inside that's similar, but similar. they don't have the drop down. Yeah. yeah. I was just uh, I was just saying that um, the stairs is difficult for precision perks, and that is exactly what it is. A long stairs. Yeah, and like Tamari said, since these lanes are so long, uh, the FPs can see you, the, the husk get mm. a long sight on you. Double FP is just about to walk in to the main hold. Oh, that's a lot of meat. Excellent freeze. I'm not mistaken, they're doing even better on the time this time than in a uh, last uh, game. Mm. 
Nine mil extends, let's go. They better start that FP real soon. Oh, okay. I think they're just gonna freeze it. There you go. Oh, FP right by Coco. Two FPs. Yeah, that's what happens when the front gets pushed so far back. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But it's the end of the wave. 10 minutes in the time. 4.4 on the score. So they're yeah. making... Yeah. Wave 5, that's insane. Insane. All right, I'm back. I had to get up for a second. Sorry about that. <laughs> I know they gave us no bio break. We just yeah. had to go right into it. Exactly. <laughs> and like I just had to. They just went in. Yeah. Yeah. I had to recuperate. Mm. I heard you guys talking about the time as I was stepping back in, and yeah, this is a uh, ridiculously fast right now. Like I said, if they keep this up, right, like, even if they don't go for objectives, like, they can get a really good score just on the virtue of a fast time, right, and nobody dying either, because, remember, it's 1.5x, so basically everything is one and a half times, so even the 600 HP, you can basically think of it as 900, right? Exactly. They're just going to get 900 points for free for not dying, which is a lot. That's almost the entire completion score, so. Very important that they uh, try to reduce, you know, deaths, avoid them. I Comes in FP. them spawning, Yo. triple, triple FP. Yep. Triple FP front left soon. Uh, that, that time was unfortunate because it's going to be over once they come in. Yep. So they, they're going to have to freeze them. They will, yeah. As of right now, they've seen everybody too because they are pushed the mm. forward, so their, their rage timers have now begun, right? Yeah, here they come. And they have to parry. Oh, nice takedown. Well, there's a bit of a roadblock going on at the front here. I'm just kind of stuck on this one siren that won't move. Oh, there she goes. Great that time from Dom. He's extending these out like the perfect length, basically. Yeah, he really is, uh, usually with so many larges. Double FP, both raged, unfortunately missed the freeze, so now they're gonna have to deal with them at point blank range. But the, oh, is that time pops? You guys gotta help, Vice. Oh, oh, that was close. Yeah. Good execution. They managed to save that crit. That's just damage that they uh, would not have wanted to deal with, right? So they don't have to worry about it anymore. Hopefully, they can uh, push back in there before that lane gets clogged up again. Mm. Yeah, hope. That's just gonna make the back lane really heavy. Yep. They can do it right now. There's no, there's no, there aren't any FPs yet. Uh, I hear one coming. Actually, yeah, there is one from the far f double. Act but uh, yeah, they have plenty of space to get back up there, and they looks like they have, so they should be okay again. I think by the time those two flash pounds make it, we'll get another Z time again. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So they should be able to see it if they push up. If the gunslingers push, push up at least. Yeah. If I'm damn guy and uh, ethereal, I would be pushing up and killing these oh. FPs. 
Oh, I have time. Looks like my internet went out there for a second. <laughs> I'm back now. Shout out to Comcast, doing a great job. Oh, you got Comcasted now? I've got Sunlink, but uh, they're a subsidiary <laughs> of Comcast. Yeah, oh, I, I suddenly disappeared. Oh, dude, the oh, 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 The afterburn. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, they may they may need to kite. They may need to kite. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna, gonna, gonna have to. Yeah, gonna let's have go to their work. Corner. Corner, corner, corner. They need to heal Mer. Yeah, Mer. Ooh, 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 Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. Nice. Only nine, nine, nine minutes. Ten. Okay. That's it. No more. There's this trash bundle. There looks to be only one scrake left in all this yeah. trash. Okay, we can hold now. Take that husk immediately. No random base. Okay, scrake's on mirror. Coming, coming. Okay, coming. I can still take, take them just in the hallway just area. Rigid. Yeah, just rigid. You'll come to us. Nice, I. Hold on. Okay, I need money. Bye, casters. Yeah, so unfortunately, they uh, they suffered just an unfortunate death right there from uh, the husk, right? I was talking about husks earlier. Mm -hmm. So that is the main danger in this lane is dealing with them. And it's hard to do that when there's a lot of clog going on from the large. I mean, you're not only just busy, but sometimes you just can't see them either, right? And uh, that unfortunately led to uh, Ethereal Doom dying from Afterburn, which is actually quite rare. That happened in a while. So yeah, the thing, the, the, the husks really are in this lane. Like you'll barely see one, and then it'll shoot. And sometimes the Zeds will stop the blast. Other times it just magically passes right goes through. through them. Yeah, bloats are infamous for that too. You'll just get a fireball in the face. With a so. medic, it can be mitigated. The damage can be mitigated, but with no medic, it's a bit difficult. Yep. And actually, uh, one thing that uh, our viewers may not know, and maybe you might, guys might not even know this either, um, you probably do though, is that any source of healing, when a dart hits you, it in instantly reduces the burning time by half, and also the damage per tick by half instantly. That's why when you heal people, the fire goes out really quickly. So even without a medic just healing each other, the faster they heal in, the faster the fire goes out. Mm-hmm. I, I did. I did actually know that. That was a fact that Elmo told. Elmo told. I can't talk. I don't know how to word. <laughs> Elmo told me that a while back. Words are hard. Okay. <laughs> I actually did not know that. I just heal people. Yep. So it's in your best interest to heal a burning player instantly because you will save them from burning further, which will reduce their amount of armor loss. And on an NMB run like this, armor is a valuable resource that cannot be wasted. So it just like you know. There's nothing they could have really done though. Doom got hit by the fireball and it just burned out, so it was it had to react like instantly. Yeah, it looked like he got hit and then popped just behind Murr. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, like I almost said, it is pretty niche, but it's still useful to know. Oh, Coco's got a bit of a uh, QP Giga looks like coming. No, actually, I think that's multiple flesh pounds coming. Looks like he's got a dollar and quarters. Oh yeah, the Arge's quarter is my bad. From far away, it looked like FP. Still gonna need help though, I think, because he has to reload. Ooh. Yeah, Amir came in to help him. That siren. There's a stalker bomb. And like you were saying about the darts, uh, when you do have to kite, you really have to try to stagger off each other, not group up, so that those darts hit their intended targets. Mm. Yes, that is true. It's easy to oh, accidentally body is. block a lock on, right? It's very easy. And with, uh, I think it was Free that said this, I might be mistaken, it might have been MJ, but one of you guys said about how the recharge rate isn't there, right? That's one of the benefits of having a medic, is you get 500% recharge speed increase at level 25. You don't have that with no medic bonus, so if you miss that dart because someone body blocks it, that really hurts. That really hurts the team's health overall. Yeah, it's, it's crazy going from healing on Medic to uh, healing on Survivalist because you'll be sitting there like trying to shoot a dart and you're like, I, I should have darts. <laughs> but it's yep. the recharge rate is just so slow. You wind up juggling weapons like crazy. Yeah, and that's one of the things that was changed with the Hemogoblin, right? You guys also spoke about Hemogoblin uh, debuffs earlier. They, It's been slightly reduced on its healing uh, per dart so that it matches the HM Tech 401. 
And then on top of that, the recharge speed has been increased, or sorry, the recharge delay has been increased to 13 seconds up from 10. So it's significantly slower now. It's also 1500 dash and not 1100. Yeah, it's a tier four now, full and full. One FG got some hits off on them there. Sorry, go Honestly, ahead. it's 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 a real. When I first heard about, it, I thought it might have been a little excessive, but after oh. using it, the the nerf is it it's good. It didn't kill it. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty really happy like, with that. Oh, sorry, sorry, Tamara, you were saying. No, 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 no. You go, you go. No, I was I was just gonna say that I really like the um the strategy that they have when it comes to getting hit. They just back off and yep. let the let mirror heal them. Like I just saw that guy. Uh, about 40, 30 HP, and he just backed off so that the darts would just hit him straight. Yeah, they're also really good at uh, spreading out too, so they're not mm -hmm. sharing it. Mm hmm. And yeah, multi hits is just not, it's not good ever, really, to be honest with you, but especially not in this run, right? Which I think we said already, but yeah, it's just, you got, like, you just can't take damage when you don't need to. Like, you just don't have the buffer to, do, to deal with that, so. People playing recklessly and not paying attention, that kind of stuff is going to be really bad for the team's overall chances of success in a no medic run. That's why it's worth so many extra points. I do see Jeff back, so... Contender for uh, MVP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he stole the show last game, yeah. last match from Mubu, so... I mean, uh, that crazy freeze that Coco got has nothing on Jeff. Jeff is just a man. <laughs> Absolutely. Holding that entire back lane by himself. One of the semi semifinals highlights, for real. <laughs> so, rolling in wave 7 here. Uh, already on the latter half of the game. Uh, looking good so far, though. Still 4,000 points, basically, on the dot. 3990. 500 HP. That's honestly not a bad, all things considered. They had to kite twice already, I think, now. Was it only that one time? I don't remember actually, but yeah, despite all of that, they're still doing really good on points though. Yeah, oh my goodness, look at the front right right now. There's a quintuple FP with three scrakes and two quarter pounds coming on the front and, right. And Zed time is going to end. Oh, yeah, this is going to end. Zed time is going to end just oh. as they hit. Just spawn, dude. Here it comes. It's crazy. Oh, they see it now. This is good. They need to get as many as they can in this last second of that time because that's just going to help make it easier for them to hold. This is crazy though here. That's a nice phrase, yeah. That quarter pound's getting close. Yeah, I like Look how they these. called out to each other and told each other that they were coming. They got this, they got this. Yeah, they can do this, they can do this. Uh, they got to get the FP zone. Can... Holy crap, that spawn was insane. Nice, they nicely need handled. To clear it out. Yeah, they got this. Good stuff, man. That was really well handled. That was insane. What was what a spawn, dude. It's gonna call War Room, but I mean they just <laughs> Yeah, I know. Eradicated I know. that, so. Bloat extends, love to see those. And I know we keep calling out you know, saying such good comms, but it really, it's so easy to get tongue-tied and tongue-twisted yep. when you're trying to stammer that out. Yeah. Imagine being commando, trying to call out how many. Calling for heals. Great freeze right there, by the way. Good. Yeah, well, that corrupted carbine though might have stolen the extensions right there. Yeah, it looks like yeah. it might have. Yeah, that, that is one downfall of uh, mm. using that with the Mando. Yeah, that's actually what you said earlier, I believe, right? It was you. Yeah. That's uh, exactly what you were talking about right there. I think what Mir might have been trying to do there is maybe had a seed set up for the end of Zed time so that Dom could get his final extension and then also trigger the cloud, but it's dangerous if someone accidentally like doesn't see that, you know? Sets it off and then now all the Zed time's gone. Yeah, you really have to call out those seeds, but it gets so hard in that bluster. Yeah, indeed. And sometimes you don't get, like, uh, you don't see it as well. Oh, and that is getting pushed a little bit now. Yeah, absolutely, MJ. Yeah, damn guys uh, flexing oh. for them. Oh, he's... Oh, we gotta help no. damn guys. Oh, he's no. gonna get crit! No! Oh, That's what I was afraid of. That's why I hate that back corner when it gets cut in half like that. Damn, yeah. that's unfortunate. 
okay, they can do this. 20, 20 zeds left. 20 zeds it's up. only one yeah. death. It's only one death. Got this. Unlucky, though. That was an unfortunate re rage. Mm. If you oh. attack the Flesh Pound while he's still cooling down from his initial attack, he will just skip the rage animation and immediately attack again. And that's what got uh, Damn Guy killed right there. It's easier to do than you might think it is. It's so easy to do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you really have it's to manage. It's so easy. <laughs> it's probably one of the first things I learn. I have to manage my uh, re-rages in uh, CD. Yep. Another thing, too, that's also uh, important to, to mention about that, and this is just something that you just learn from playing, but ping actually makes this easier to do because the FPs and all the Zeds are on the server side, right? So the server is responsible for like deraging them and everything. But it, since there's a delay between your inputs and the server's reaction, sometimes you can shoot the flush pound. Like it's happened to me where the flush pound derages and I thought I waited long enough and I re-raged them anyway. Because on the server side, right, it's, there's a delay there. And it's possible that things like that can play a factor, right? And, you know, basically what I'm trying to say is he, he might be used to it at low ping, but he's got to be even more careful about it at high ping. Plenty to spare. Cheers. I want to point out that... uh. Coco's got one hell of a strong throwing arm for that uh that sentinel. I've been I've been throwing sentinels back there in uh, practice games from time to time, and I've never been able to get it back there that far. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 good because the further back you, you get it, it's not going to shoot and re rage things out where they're holding. Yeah, indeed. It's also just going to react faster, right? It's going to kill the trash mm -hmm. as soon as it appears instead of waiting. Less likely it'll get through. It was a quad FP front oh, right right now. Oh yeah, right on the oh, right. Man. That time People ended too, so... Right. Good freeze. But I don't know if they're going to be able to follow up. They're going to take the push. path on the right. Yeah, one of them one, is going through the one, right one side. sneaking through. He's being sneaky. Sneaky boy. He's no, he's, he's, he's down dead. though. He's down. Yeah, he's, yeah. Double slinger in front, no chance for FP to do anything during Z time. And yeah, he's dead. <laughs> I mean, it, it has a chance to do one thing, and it's like, die, but... <laughs> yeah, there's times I'm waiting for Zed time to proc, even with double sharp, and it, like, Coco's wants to take hammered. its time sometimes. Oh, Coco's got it. Ooh, Coco's got three, uh, three husks in the back. He's gonna be playing dodgeball in a second here. Yeah. Oh. Yep, he does it. Nice. Oh my god, that's a quintuple FP gonna come through the main lane real soon. Same spot again, too, and the oh, Zed time's gonna no. end again. <laughs> oh man, it's oh, like they, deja vu, man. They, they look higher up, too, so... Oh. Well, we'll see what oh, happens here. Another pound? This could be a war room situation, let's see what happens. It could be if they don't freeze it fast enough or have Zed time fast enough. Yep, I'm, I'm calling it. Let's go. Let's go listen to their all war room. Right, right. We need to kite right now. Kite now. Kite now. Kite now. Kite now. Kite now. You don't. You don't. Not true, ah. Fair power body. Uh. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay. I got nothing else to shoot. Okay. Right, everyone is top top. Okay. Oh, let's yeah. get up to mid. Get through. Two so raging flash now coming. I'm gonna take one. Please run, please run. Uh, We're gonna take them out right now, take them out right now. There's Goodbye, a raging Nice. Don't start the Skriks. Leave them. Let's hit no more. Alright, flash on the back are dead. One more only, one more unrich. I think front. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Mm. One raging coming. I can take the aggro. Oh no, that's a QP in the way. Q QP in the back. Not true. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. QP in the back. Oh my god. Oh. Double flush pound. Get, get past, get past, get past. He's low, he's low. Nice. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm out of uh, send the fire. QP, QP, take out the QP. Alright, fight here for a bit. Start that flash if you can. 
Yeah. I got three headshots in. Four down. Nice. Got another one. Picking up. That's great. Pass. What's up? Nice. Good kill. Good kill. QP. Our our back is clear. If you want to jump, 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 jump. Alright, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go to spawn, go to spawn. It's great coming along the way. Alright, let's start the straight. Uh, Don, no, 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 no. Okay, let's not start it yet. Let's not start it yet. Come, 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 come. Not sure what I mean. Alright, we're good, we're good. We win this. Yep. So uh, they managed to get through that kite without any deaths, and they're just cleaning up the wave now. So really good take from Ooh on uh, wave eight there. Could have been bad in a couple spots, but they managed to. Dom got some insane extensions in the middle area. I don't know if anyone saw that, but he yeah. got a bloat prep into a flesh pound body prep and got a full stack of extensions. And then in the back area uh, around the corner near the secondary hold, they left the FPD capped, which always scares me because of the whole. You know, the good old Mike situation where uh, someone gets slapped by a headless FP. Dom almost got hit by it as he was passing by, but it just decided not to. Anyone want this? But, uh, that's something yeah. I see a lot of players will do. They'll decap a flesh pound and let it walk around, and that's dangerous because it, it, it'll it block v, it'll block uh, line of sight down the lane. Uh, it'll block bullets, and uh, it's always got that potential to smack someone and do uh, massive damage because you can correct me if I'm wrong. When they're headless, every hit they do is a heavy... And a, or it's like a heavy crit or something. So they mm -hmm. head, headless flesh pounds will will do some damage. They got uh, they got hands. Yeah, that's correct indeed. They will they will always hit you for like at least fifty plus damage. So it's just if Dom would have got smacked by that, he was already Ooh, like dollar. at eighty health or so. He would have probably just ended up dying from it, right? Most likely. Probably would have. That's why I just usually just take out headless FPs unless like you know the it's not necessary. When there's teammates nearby that don't know about it, I always kill it. It's just to eliminate that possibility. But and those time, comms man. were those comms were so clean too. It's so important to get, yep. keep good comms so that you get your positioning. Because if you don't kite together, if you square off at the wrong place, it can it can be a death sentence. Yeah, and that that uh, railroad track, which has been mentioned before, is probably the scariest part of the whole kite, oh, right? Easily the scariest. Yeah, you basically always need a freeze for that section. Uh, they got two FPs coming in that have already seen them, so if I were the gunslingers here, I'd be pushing up trying to get those two flesh pounds down. And they got a Giga on the right yeah. coming as well. Yeah, especially due to that as well. They need to get these down so they can deal with that other FP set coming in. Dude, these perfect extensions are... Oh my gosh. They're gonna have five FPs total. They can get these two down, they can do this. This FP needs to die. There he goes. There yeah, now go. they gotta rush up and get these other three down. I'd probably throw a freeze. I was, probably, yeah, yeah, exactly. freeze. Oh, I, was, I was just thinking as well. But there there we go. go. Excellent oh. freeze. Beautiful. Yeah, I was talking about that them. siren, but <laughs> I got it. <laughs> well, luckily, sirens only scream when they're nearby you, right? So as long as you stay away from them, you don't have to worry about them just That's randomly. That's true. That's true. That yeah. in a rare case, you can get right up in their face and hug them and they won't scream. Well handled right there. That could have ended up in another kite if they had mismanaged the Z time there. Again, how important that's how important commando. Two husks on top of the roof there. I don't know if they see them yet. Do you see that? Oh yeah, no, they I do see, see them. Up them. Up Holy crap, they, they didn't even let me talk about it. They just No, it they took them down quick, which was the right smart move to do. Right call. Yep. When we were practicing this old it is very important that you call those husks because that damage is insane. Yeah, as Elmo just said, right now Coco's in the back lane is getting uh, his own little party. He's got three FPs coming with a scrape. One already raged, so unfortunately can't freeze, but damn guy's rotating to help them, so I think they can get this. What I want to point out here is that they're both doing separate large takedowns simultaneously. That's a really good tactic if you want to be efficient, right? Uh, there's this concept that I like to call Z-Time Efficiency, and it's just making the most use out of the extensions you possibly can. And one of the, actually, like one of the, I wouldn't say the worst thing you could do, but it's just generally wasteful, is having everybody go for the same large when you could easily just kill, you know, three scrakes at the same time. 
And uh, they did a good job of doing that right there. So Coco's like all of a sudden. Riders sneaking up behind him. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Riders can do some serious damage too if you leave them uh, unchecked. They do the little combo that they do. That that can hurt. They can self buff. Can as well. Yeah, they can buff the other Zeds as well. Which kind of sucks. They're hard enough. It does Triple create some. FP. Uh, there's a Quint FP coming right now. Uh, no, actually, it looks like a Sextuple FP, maybe even. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's, my it's God. a Sextuple FP. There's six FPs coming front lane right now. Ooh. Probably just keep it here, though, because it's about to be the end of the wave. I think they got this. Yeah. Oh, Throws nice long freeze. That was beautiful. That's good. They delay the rages, right? Um, yeah, and to jam it up with the largest already locked up there. Letting Dom get that flashbound extension, because he doesn't have very much to pick from right now. Oh, Doom took a Hus Rocket though, he's gonna get hit by that P! No! Oh! That's what I was afraid of. Husks will get you. Yep. The Husk combo. That's not good, that's another 150 points right there. Ooh, I thought he was gonna go for the Wombo combo. This is why Husks are very, very uh, dangerous. make it my freaking mission to just completely eradicate any husk I can see anytime I get that time just because that kind of stuff that situation has happened to me so many times dude and it's like it sucks <laughs> yeah you either get get bloated on and then hit by a husk at like the same time or you get the the husk with a, a siren being delivered at the same time <sighs> yep those are the worst and then as Elma pointed out uh it's almost if you get hit by a, a husk, the next flesh pond that hits you is going to be a crit. Yeah, well, you're burning, you're taking yeah. down so much, yeah. Yeah, and anybody that's like me who, uh, I mean, I used to be like an ex like support main. I mean, I still play support, but just not as much anymore. But when I played support regularly, man, husks are freaking annoying. Like when you go for like a scrape takedown or a FP takedown at point blank and then you get hit in the face. That's just death. You just die. <laughs> so that's why I've learned how to just respect husks because they're extremely dangerous. And support, you, as support, you can't reach them. Exactly. <laughs> that's the annoying part, yeah. 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 That's why you have to be very cognizant of your. Like to play support at a high level, you have to have a really good spatial awareness and situational awareness. To know what's going on around you before you go for that takedown. Because once you commit, it's uh, bad times if things interrupt you. So starting wave 10 now. And uh, again, I mean, they, yeah, they had a death, but they still got half the health bonus, and they're still looking to get close to 3k points for this game, depending on how fast they are here, which is good. I hear FP somewhere. Ooh, there's a whole dollar of FQPs coming from the front right, double FP from front right as well, and then another FP from left. They've got like six pounds coming, seven pounds. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. QBs need to die because they got to get they on those. Need to. They take up so much space, as what I said earlier. Please stop with the uh, with the D rage. Well, they need this set time. Bomb's desperately trying to find stuff right now. Oh, nice job by Doom. Nice. Oh, excellent. Somebody accidentally stole Dom's uh, crawler right there, but he managed to flip around, do a 90 degree turn, and he got a, a clot in the background on Coco's lane. Keep that going. Oh, the husk again, though, coming in with that fireball. I would just take a second right here and just plink that husk if I were uh, Dom. Or, sorry, uh, Doom. Oh. They may have to kite. Oh. They push way back. Yeah, let's take it back to uh, Ooh Warm again. Let's listen to him do this guy. Alright. Goomba oh, ain't missing this. Oh my god. Goomba fail. I miss you. Hey, I'm on it. I'm in. Back up, back up, back up. Got attention. Heal everybody. Heal Dom. Mir, get out of there. Mid's actually relatively clear. Who, who, started started that? Here? who started that? Alright, guys, don't shoot scrapes. <laughs> please don't shoot straight. Please, 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 please. Mirror's taking uh -oh. five shots in the back. 
อันนี้หิวยาไปครับไปครับไปครับไปครับอ่ามีรถกันไหมที่ไหนโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้
Just the <sighs> sea of flesh pounds. No flesh pounds went to Coco. Nothing triggered in the back. Anyway. That was insane. That was insane. It it's it was really ballsy for you guys to go for a no medic run on the second um on the second scenario because I was I was thinking okay no medic run didn't work out on the first scenario maybe they could they would play it safe and put, complete the the whole um the whole game but you guys went all in not even a single five minute break in between that's like a chad move right there yeah, we, i mean we're up against chainsaw but it was all in or nothing yeah we, we figured if we screw up the first one we would have to go all, all in the second one to even have a chance looking at their scores they pull out 2500s with a medic based on raw speed it was go big or go home if we wanted to have a chance. You guys I mean, did put on a show. Yeah, you guys, you guys mm -hmm. did really well too. Like that was that was good. Um, how do you? Uh, I I got a question from her. How do you like uh, healing on survivalist? I actually really like it. Um, it's uh, I I don't have to focus on buffing, so I can uh, do more to support the team. Uh, I was running the carbine uh, to like kill Scrakes. Uh, do a bit of seeding. I could also focus on debuffing the larges. Um, I could also like focus focus on he healing, uh, clearing trash because I had the three hundred one as well. Um, so yes, overall I really liked it. Um, it also allowed us to, like run some really weird loadouts. Uh, we had like pretty big things planned for boss phase, but unfortunately we didn't get there. Yeah, oh, that the was boss phase so... were going to be so cool. So sad. I'm I'm curious what what made you want to run the corruptor carbine instead of like the the 201 or something to give you a little more little more darts for for kiting and everything. I'm just um, I I figured that um dart, I mostly had darts covered. Uh, the the carbine was more for clearing cuts because we had that was a bit of a problem occasionally. So just like some long range takedowns of mediums that might be occasionally needed. Yeah, husks are the death of the main hold. Yeah, so we I we agree. had we had mirror and pice on hus on husk watch. Yeah, those those husks will mess you up. Especially yeah. Yeah, I was no wondering about that. Yeah, I was wondering if you had one specific watching that for husk because uh, the others were taking down largest, and if you have too many going for the same thing, you can miss it. Yeah, it we was really the nice. The uh, the only unfortunate thing was when Z time would end and you would have all these flesh pounds coming staggered in the back. But y'all caught that We had so well. many of those Z time triggers before flesh pound passed. I know. I know. What was <laughs> up with that? Bro, RNG. It was awful. They, the Z time would end and then Dom, D damn guy would go, flesh pounds long. We're just like, no. Yeah, and we Please. saw some uh, Joe Namath throws with those freezes there. They were beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Was it, uh, was it this scenario or was it last scenario when Pice was about to get, uh, I think it was Pice, was about to take a crit and uh, I believe it was Coco threw a grenade and froze it right in time? I don't even know. It was a lot of chaos. <laughs> They're kind of melding <laughs> together into one big long game. Maybe that was the beginning of this scenario. Actually. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, scenario B, I believe. Yeah. yeah. With the three squigs. Yeah, it it was it was backing up, and if I'm not mistaken, he was about to take a crit, and we were calling it out like no pice, and Coco threw that freeze, and it went off right when we finished our statement. Oh. It was beautiful. Uh, I believe Zelmo got a uh, beautiful replay of it too. Nice. Yeah, he did. In fact. Yeah, from my perspective, it's um, bloat, flesh pound, flesh pound, scrake, bloat, flesh pound, flesh <laughs> pound, scrake, and that's all I remember of any of these games. That's the gunslinger life, right there. Yep. I have so much respect. Not only did you go no medic for the first scenario, but two times and no break. Y'all just said, "Let's go." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We just oh, wanted to run says, into it. That guy says it's uh, scene A uh, that happened. Okay. I uh, got it. Okay. And I believe there was a uh, seed that went off 
during said time too. Uh, y'all remember what I'm talking about? Uh, wave five or six, I believe. Kind of ate up some trash. Yeah, you did point that out. Yeah, it's just one of the dangers of the carbine, right? It's like, you, um, if you if you use it, like, it's not even necessarily using it improperly. It's just like you can just act like um, as an example, if you put a seed on a Zed, and then let's say Mir like decides he wants to help with like killing like a husk, right? Then the husk dies. The husk triggers spontaneous Zed explosion, which then blows up the clot, which then triggers the gas, and then screws everything up. Like, right. yeah. It's so easy for something like that to happen. That's like not even your fault, you know. And that's like the dangerous part about using that gun. But I, I can respect the use of the carbine. Though. Like I, I, I can see what you're trying to do. I mean, I even did it myself when I was playing with you guys that one night, and it, yeah. it works. It can work really well, but it also can be like the bane of like the run if it uh, happens at a wrong time. I mean, mm -hmm. as can anything though, really. We also just you had so many problems with just like running out of trash during Zed time. Yeah, actually, I was going to say you guys did so well not to take the Zed, um, the commandos trash during Zed time. I know that makes it really hard <laughs> if you keep yeah. killing the trash. I've got nothing to extend on. Yeah, I was trying my best to pull out flesh pound preps, but with the plus one, it's just so slow. Yeah, and I guess I just heard from Damga that you guys had a uh, some uh, microphone issues with Pice during that game. I didn't realize that. Actually. Yep. Yep. Thing. Yeah, thing. Murphy's Law. It's definitely been a Murphy's Law day today. And we also mm -hmm. just had some really bad times for the cross Pacific lag to come up between me and Do me and Police Tom. What do you mean by that? Uh, so if you've watched either of our perspectives, our comms are desynced from the from the distance between us. So mm -hmm. from his perspective, I will call preps after Zed time has ended for him. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Or he'll call things as I'm killing them, like bloat prepped, don't shoot, and I'm already trying to prep it because I can't see health bars. Right, right. <laughs> right. Right. So Dang, I didn't realize it was that big of a delay, actually. That's crazy. Yeah. You should check out Dom's uh Hellmark perspective. Some of my calls come through like two seconds after Zed time has ended. It's crazy. Two seconds is a long time. That's yeah. Almost one Zed time. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's an entire extension, basically. Extensions with you know being three seconds. Yeah. So that's a lot of time, like where things can happen that are mm -hmm. really important to the game. Yeah, because with if he's on three hundred and I'm on one hundred, that's point eight seconds of round trip with no processing. So. Yeah, that's unfortunate about the mic thing, by the way. Just so, like for future reference, if that ever happens again for like anybody watching, and even for you guys, like if we ever do tournament again, just let us know and we can pause if that happens. Yeah. Our we, only hope now is that chainsaw the, wipes. We can pause the timer and we can also pause the entire game so that, you know, just like literally nothing moves. And then you can take your time to fix that. Because that's okay. like obviously like, a, you know, it's no one's fault that that happens, right? Yeah. Or at the very minimum, we can pause during trader for you. So did you guys get any, any other baller highlight shots? Saw uh, Jeff do some uh, husk takedowns. Yeah. That was we pretty good. Some, some Jeff, good. Jeff was Jeff putting work. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, Jeff, Jeff and his friend. What was his friend's name again, Reed? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if we ever came up with a name for Jeff's I, I friend. Said, but... I said Zeff, Jeff and Zeff, since they're Jeff and Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jeff and Zeff were clutch. We did not want to deal with that lane. Yeah, that, that lane is so... it It's screwy because there's nothing comes from it, but the moment you turn away from it, you get, you know... Stalkers. Uh, you get stalkers or a husk or... Or uh, a couple fidget spinners spinning on you. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we we came up with that double sentinel strat like really early. That was actually my idea. Nice. Yeah, I like I like that. I'm happy that that you guys are using sentinels because that was exactly what I was hoping uh, people would use them for. Things like that. You know, like a like an extra man. Uh, you know, not really. I mean, it's, sentinel doesn't really do super duper much on its own, but it still helps a bit. You know. And, it's cool that you guys are using it, especially because you can throw one and then drop it, right? And you can just get your loadout back and still have the drone at the same time. Yeah, we wanted to do like a quad stack on that lane, but global limit change. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, That's why I was two. asking about it. I see. Yeah, it is a maximum of two. So the team only can only throw two drones uh, before they begin to just, you know, self detonate. Uh, I have a question from chat. All right. Um, 
Davey's asking, uh, how many hours did you guys spend studying that map, like for the spawns and everything? Oh, like a good two hours out of me just memorizing the spawns. Then Coco looked at the spawns. And so, yeah, a long time, a long freaking time is the answer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can tell, right? Because like you definitely wouldn't have like if that back lane had spawned larges, that would have been a bad idea to put them there, right? Because the you know Jeff and Zeph would have partied yep. a little bit too hard and then raised all the FPs coming in. But you could tell that you guys knew about it, right? And that I think that's really cool. I even brought that up as well during the match. That you know it's pretty clear you guys use debug mode and check that out. Yep. If I one of the very first things I do every time we get the new map is go look at the spawns and try to memorize them all. Yeah, makes sense. I have one question I could ask you guys. Um, yeah. Out of curiosity, I mean, it's pretty clear that you guys knew already that the middle area of that map is the worst part of the kite by far, right? It's just, yep. It's just a, a massive freaking cluster. And uh, I was wondering if you guys had, um, was, was there any like predetermined rotation for like freezes? Like, did you have one specific person on it, or was it more of just like if you're in the front, just like use the freezes if you need to? It was whichever sharp ends up in front. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I did notice, um, I believe it was Pisces, the sharp in front, correct? Yeah. And when he, yeah. yeah, when he ran out, it never happened, but if he ran out, were you going to have Coco flex uh, for any additional freezes you have, or were you going to have them trade lanes? We didn't if Pisces really had ever called, I'm out of freezes, it would have been Coco freeze, so. Nice. You never really ran, ran into that issue in practice, though. Yeah, we also had to do like freeze rotations on like 2A and objective 2A and stuff. So we were we were pretty used to getting the sharps to rotate. Yeah, yeah, you were. Yeah, and that actually leads me into another question, if you don't mind, uh, with the objectives. Like, um, was it planned from your practices that you weren't going to go for any objectives on on the second scenario, or was that because you guys just like wanted to play it safe and make sure you lock in some points for? Uh, you know, as a because of what happened in the first one, kind of both. We, uh, we didn't really have enough time to practice the objectives for scenario B. And also, the also, scenario B objectives are miserable. Coco and yeah. I talked, yeah, talked about this as well outside outside of like the group. Mm -hmm. uh, they're pretty bad, admittedly. Yeah, like the 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 medium bombs on basically all of them. That that three A has the fence for or excuse me, three B four B has the drop down. Like that's siren and husk bombs into the middle of your position. Hell no. Yeah. I don't I don't blame you guys for not going for that one. Like I was actually talking about that and like the the honest truth of that is that there just actually aren't enough objective zones in the map. Like that's why some of the bad ones got in there. Like that I wouldn't even want to do that one either. It's absolutely horrible. But yeah. there are like no other I mean that being said, like I did say to the stream as well at the time, it is possible to do it, but it, it just wasn't probably going to be possible with the setup you guys had, right? So I think it was probably yeah. the right move. I was just mainly curious, like how much of that was like planned or was it because of like the reaction to, because, you know, I, I also brought this up as well that like, you know, you guys are also worrying about now that we're in playoffs, right? You're actually facing another team directly now. So now you have to also keep in mind what the other team is going to make DB do. And so yep. there's that extra factor of like, well, okay, we don't really want to go for it, but maybe we should because we had the wipe. And what if the other team does it and then we're going to lose or something like that? Like that kind of scenario pops into your mind. And that's what I was basically just curious if that was like a factor at all um, in going into the planning of that. But you answered. No, that. we never got to be stable and the other ones are all worse than to be. Yeah, understandable. So did you uh, happen to change your team comp during uh, practice or did you just stick with the same loadouts that you had? This time. We've been running this from day one when we yeah, found yeah. out who we were facing. Okay. Yeah, we, we figured we need nomad clones to get an edge, so we just ran nomad clones from day one. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we are anticipating like 5,000 points out of Chainsaw across both. So we really need to put some stuff together. Oh, you never know well, what that... could happen, man. It's, uh, it's still in the air, you know? Like, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Anything could happen, and uh, so you're not out of the game. Like, even if it didn't go the way, obviously, it did, didn't go the way you planned, of course, right? I mean, I think if you guys got both runs, you would have had, like, almost 8,000, I think, total score. But Yeah, we were on great times. It was going so well. Oh, my god. Yeah, I think you, you were, even yeah. Scenario B, you went a little, little bit faster than the first time, I think. Yeah, we don't have any running time. Yeah, you guys were blazing fast. But, yeah. uh, again, it's, it's not over. <laughs> a lot could still happen, so... 
No, yeah, it's well, not. we just gotta sit here and hope now. <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna hit you guys with with my uh, with my question that I like to ask. Uh, what's for for this game? Uh, what's what's something for for both the matches? Uh, what's something that happened that you guys uh, think you could have maybe done a little bit different, gone a little bit better? And then what's something that you guys really liked and really enjoyed and think just went perfect? Um, for, definitely... Okay, Mir, you go first. I think it get better, bit better RNG because we we were getting <laughs> giggled on wave ten consistently, like just towards the match. We we never like got it that badly in our practice. Uh but I the one practice wipe when we got an octuple. Yeah. So other than that, uh, but, got an octuple. What the yeah, yeah. octuple flesh pound. It was yeah. a conga line of flesh pound just oh my coming through. <laughs> Jesus, we had a Z time and we still weren't done with the flesh pounds. That's insane. Yeah, I, with I two slingers. Feel, yeah, I do feel like uh, target prioritization is a bit of an issue. Like too many sky rages. Yeah, we we were, we were raging things that we shouldn't be, uh, especially during kite as well. We were having more rages than we should have. Yeah. Um, mm. uh, as for something that we did well, I I feel like our our comms were like really good. I mean, at least at least in the beginning, I feel like morale kind of dipped a bit in starting scenario B. Because we had a really good think plan for the scenario A boss, the double Hans. So it, it was kind of disheartening to not be able to pull that out. We worked uh, really hard on it. We spent like mm -hmm. three hours on that boss fight alone. How many hours in total did you practice the map for both scenarios? Uh, we had a two hour practice, a four and a half hour practice, and then two hours today. So eight and a half hours. Hmm. Well, we did. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Jake, go ahead. Oh, no, no, no. I was I was just going to say that eight hours practicing the map. Uh, it's a pretty decent time, yeah. Yeah, it's about as much as we ever get with our schedules, mm -hmm. honestly. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. yeah. You guys have a lot of wildly uh, varying time zones in your team, right? Yep, we mm -hmm. got five time zones. <laughs> wow, that's insane. Yeah, I hear you. Shut up for time zones. And I was then, just going to say that was... Uh, we had even mentioned that that was really good comms. I didn't even know that you had that delay mm. with Pice. Yeah. So that, that's even more impressive. Thanks. Yeah. So for the, the thing that went badly, definitely um, I have two. One, horizontal recoil on the AFs is what killed me that one time. Uh, I had a shot go out right in Zed time and tag a Scrake head. <laughs> and then I had a raging Scrake that I had to try and take down and then I died. Um, but more... More relevantly, uh, definitely the Scrake Rages. We were, we were hitting Scrakes too often when we needed to be killing Flesh Pounds. Uh, what went really right? Definitely coordination on the mass Flesh Pounds. Like getting the freezes out, doing split takedowns. Uh, we'd, you know, we'd, we'd freeze and we'd be like, I'm taking back, I'm taking right, I'm taking middle, I'm taking left. To just try and keep that time to kill as low as possible. And I was, that was a really cool improvement from our previous games. Nice. Yeah, I definitely know. I definitely noticed that and called it out too. The split takedowns thing, like that, that's uh, a really great way to keep the efficiency at high, right? And you need to do that with no medic because you'll get you have to keep the snowball from getting too big, you know? Yeah, especially running triple DPS on one lane. There's no point in all of you shooting the same flash pound head. Exactly. Yep. That's exactly what I said too as well. So that's I also like think like if you ask me, like that's probably the the highlight of the match for me watching you guys play you guys did a really great job on all of that the communication all of it you know on yeah. point definitely um i had asked the chat earlier about the you know the question tm the mvp question <laughs> yeah and i've seen various responses but i wanted to open the floor to you guys about that first before we get to the other ones so uh for amir and doom who would you guys say was the mvp of your run I'm going to have to go with Mir on this one for rolling over to survivalist medic and just crushing it. Even if things didn't work out in the end, he was killing it in practice and killing it now and killing it on the Han simulations too. Um, I, I like to give it to down guy. He, he was really my, my biggest cheerleader in like picking up the survivalist role. Uh, and honestly, the, the whole team in general, they, they were just so supportive of me, like picking up new perks, trying on new stuff, even though it might not always work out. Uh, oh, yeah. I, they were really supportive of just like getting me to try new things and 
it like without them, I wouldn't have gone this this far with a survivalist medic. Hell yeah. Yeah, I even see some uh, mirror MVP in chat as well. So you got some, yeah. you got some support. Mm-hmm. I actually, see a, I actually see a lot. I see, I see some for Coco. I see uh, Dom. I see Doom even. Yeah, like, I like even you guys saw said, you guys Jeff and Zeph too. Everybody's getting called <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jeff and Zeph also. Oh, they they just win the de facto MVP, right? Of course. Yeah. Can't can't compete. Am I kidding? Yeah, I, I would I would have to say Mirrors has got the MVP vote for me because. Uh, I know what it's like to heal on survivalists and it's it's not easy <laughs> so it's yeah. it, it's a completely different world than trying to heal on medic and there's just so much more going on your darts aren't there and kiting is an absolute nightmare so i think i think mer's got my mvp yeah it's stressful for sure i would say for me um i'm gonna actually go with damn guy this time and the reason why is because uh, it's kind of the same thing as what i gave to freed back in the uh, i want to say it was santa's workshop round on round two um, and it was mainly because of uh, the good, the really good callouts during the kites. Like he did a really good job of keeping you guys on task and keeping you guys focused on what's going on. You know, talking about pulling out the pistols, right? That was the thing. I actually directly referenced that because that's something that I, I believe he got that from me because I always tell people that all the time. Like use your pistol when you're bashing lots of larges because, you know, you can bash faster, right? And he called that out specifically. And he was, you know, telling you guys not to stack up and not get hit double hits. You know, don't rage scrapes. You don't need to like, all of those uh, callouts were extremely helpful. Uh, at least it seemed like they were. And they were like the importance of having someone being an IGL like that is is so important. It's it could because like Jenny said this last week, and um, I think it was actually your guys' match actually. Or no, 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 I don't remember which match it was. I, I apologize, but she she said um, in the retrospective that you know panic is uh, the worst affliction in KF two. That was her exact wording, and it's true, yep. right? If you if you let yourselves get off task, like you can it can just completely go to shit. And uh, that's why I would say, for me, I'd say damn guy, because he did a good job of like keeping you guys together. Yeah. I would say um, damn guy as well. Uh, like, as what you said, Tamari, and just um, building up on that, the comms is very important in CD. I cannot stress how important it is to call when you're, when you're starting the large, when you're um, gonna throw a freeze like who needs heals especially during the kite and damn guy was just on point with that calling out heals oh i'm gonna take this oh you should take the other one uh you should take the hit and stuff like that so um yeah i would vote for damn guy but my runner-up is actually dom um, if you can remember, I don't, I can't recall which scenario was that, but that railroad track Z time there saved them. I would say um, it could have been a wipe if there was no Z time there. So runner up for for Dom on on my MVP. And how about you, Boris? I have to play devil's advocate. I can't pick one. Um, I think Team Calm was so clean. Dom was holding down the extensions. The Sharps were making all the headshots. You were uh, had one person watching for the Huss while the other persons watched for the uh, takedowns on the largest. Everybody was off perk healing on each other and staying staggered. I think the comms just stood out. and You couldn't have done any of that, any of that without uh, just cleanly communicating with each other and calling it all out. Ironically, the comms were actually slightly rough during the match. So you're calling me a liar in practice. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Oh, combo is a liar like that, man. <laughs> no, you're not it's a liar. Right. I, I get you were no just no, I, I, <laughs> yeah, no, I think <laughs> I think that's yeah, I even you. more important. Yeah. It, yeah. It's even better that you had those uh, problems because it, it you couldn't see it from viewing it. It looked like everything was just streamlined. Yeah, agreed. To us, it was it was very clean play and, and even if it didn't feel like it i would say it was really clean like it was just it was really good gameplay overall like there's you know again even if you didn't get the result you were looking for like i i wouldn't even like leave that match like feeling disappointed in how you played because you guys did overall really great it was just a hard challenge you were going for right like that's not easy and like we're just watching and like everybody's just watching and they're like you don't realize like how difficult it is until you're actually doing it you know it's a lot harder than it looks so um Actually, that kind of brings up another question uh, related to like nerves. Like you mentioned about the comms being shaky. Like, what, how much of that was just because of the fact that it was the match, or compared to like you know 
the situation is at hand? Like, were you just nervous, like, because of um, the fact that it's, you know, the, the stakes are high in the match itself, or was it more of like uh, you were just kind of reacting to what was going on at the time? I don't know if that question makes sense the way yeah, I said uh, it. But... I'd say a bit of both, um, especially like, like the right before match practice. Like, we mm -hmm. ran to wave 10, uh, like 10, 20 minutes before the match, and we were getting the up. A couple or just the conga line of flesh pounds, and I yeah. I felt like that kind of that kind of shook shook us up, um uh, before the match, and then like it uh scenario A wave ten the the same pretty much the same thing happened and I think that uh really took a hit we took a hit to our morale, and yeah. that uh scenario B was when comms kind of started breaking down a little bit. Yeah, got it. So it was kind of a, was... a little bit of both, like you said. Sorry, go ahead, yeah. Jim. It was it was hard to keep it together on B after the A wipe. Definitely. You guys still played insanely well though, all things considered. You really did. And I know I keep saying this since Fright Yard, but you can practice a thousand practices, everything's going fine, you get it down, and then match comes and big old dump right on you with the RNG. Yep. You never know if, what you're gonna get. <laughs> I genuinely think with more fortunate Z times, we would have been fine. Yeah. There a better time, you know, like right uh, when the gig has arrived instead of before. Yep, would have been a lot better for sure. Yeah, if if we'd had Z time to work with on the gigas, we were fine. We've we've actually walked almost full held wave ten several times. Nice with with only soft kites at the end. Our first run through of our first nomadic run through was actually no deaths until Hans, if I recall correctly. So, but we just got well, like guys, at times every time on that. Yeah, you guys did so good, so impressive, and you you showed off even when you work as a team how it can get hard. Why? Uh, why we love CD because it's never the same. <laughs> yeah, uh, even ASL never pulls any punches. It really doesn't. No, I mean it's it's tricky, right? Because like you know, in in a, in a tournament scenario, in a competitive scenario, the the biggest adversary is randomization right you want everything to be consistent and for the most part with cd it is right but then there's the, there's the spawning system in cave 2 itself that no matter what you do incurs a little bit of rng right and sometimes like you just get those kind of spawns and but it's weird right like the interesting thing about it at least for me is that as bad as that sounds it's also kind of cool because it also trains you to, to get good at adaptation which is the other important skill i mentioned this last week in the retrospective but like you know, aim isn't really everything in Cave 2 at all, right? A lot of it is also adaptation, your ability to adapt to changing circumstances. And in a way, in a, in a, in a way that's still skillful, like, or rather what I'm trying to say is the spawning system works in such a way where um, even though it is a little bit random, it still demands a lot of skill. Um, yeah. But unfortunately, yeah, it was just like the, the Z time too is another one also that like factored in, like you said already. Um, yeah, I can easily any... easily yeah. see you if you've got another run in it. Easily seeing you take both scenarios down. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and we we I I'd, I'd allow retries in the in the playoffs matches, but honestly, the main reason why I don't it's not really about being a hard ass as much as it is like time. Like the matches would take forever, right? If we could do yeah. fifty percent retry penalty, that's really the only reason why. Um, are there any other questions? I think we probably can move toward wrapping this up then if you guys don't have anything else. Yeah, no, no I, don't, I don't have yeah, anything. I'm, 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 I'm satisfied, square. yeah. Yeah, you guys you guys did really good. That that was that was a really good show. Yeah, Thanks. indeed. It was real fun to watch that. I'm sad I wasn't able to be there from the start, but I was getting Comcasted on, so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think I think honestly that also unsettled us a little. Oh, me joining? No, uh, just oh, like the map, the the thing getting delayed, the neat plan for the day going awry, etc. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. But yeah, uh, so... it rattled me. I can't speak for my allies. It's none of y'all's fault. It's Comcast's fault. Well, no, it, it turns out that I am mortal and I need to eat between matches. How dare you? I just had to do a lot of things last second because of that. Like, I literally went to bed last night and. Everything was fine. And I was like, okay, we're ready for tomorrow. And then I wake up in the morning and like my alarm goes off. I wake up, I look over at my computer and I can see my modem is flashing red. I'm like, oh man, not like this, dude. 
And then nobody was online that could help me get the servers up and running. So I had to like emergency hit up Elmo. And then that's why, um, what was it before this match? It was a uh, thick snacking. That's why it started late. And then because of that, it pushed everything back. So yeah. my apologies about that. I mean, it's not, I know it's not my fault, but still, yeah, it does kind of suck that that had a factor. At least for you. But I guess what can you do, right? Yeah. Hey, we got it all working out in the end, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm just sad we didn't get to pull out our Han strat for you guys. Yeah, I was definitely interested because I know you guys did the, the Rhino strat before, and I can only imagine it would have been another, like a derivative of that. But what I was thinking in oh. my, I can say for me what I was thinking, and I'm not going to ask you guys to say this, by the way, because I, you know, I know you might not want to give out the strat openly, but like what I was thinking might have happened in my head was like, I was thinking it would have been really cool if you guys did like a dual. Rhino takedown with like two separate sub teams like split off on both Hans or something. I don't know. I was just kind of theory crafting that. That's what mm. I was thinking about when I set the boss. I was like, it'd be kind of cool to see them do stuff like that, you know? But yeah, yeah. it would have been way spicier. Yeah. Ooh, if okay. you guys had, if you guys were watching my Wave Nine purchases really closely, you actually would have seen a sneak peek. The suit, mm. mine as well. I've been placing spares around the map. I I'll did notice the spares. Look. Yeah, I noticed the placement. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to go back and but, take a look at that then. That's pretty cool. Go ahead, Boris. Uh, well, I just don't want to hold up Elmo. I think he's about to fall out from uh, nour malnourishment. Oh, no. I've, I've, had, I've had food already. Oh, okay. I must understand. Cool. So we can go for another four hours? Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. Yeah. You, don't need, you don't need to go to work, MJ. Just, you know, just mm. be here with us while working. Yeah. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah. I do. In six hours. Yeah, so I do want to move toward wrapping this up, though, because I actually also need to take a break because uh, we will be having our next matches in an hour and a half from now. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I wanted to thank both of you guys for coming in here and talking uh, talking with us about the match. It was really fun listening. Yeah, thanks for having us and good luck to the rest of the teams. And well played. Oh, yeah. Well played. Thank you. Yeah, really well played. Take care, you guys. All right. You take, take care. See Good ya. Well. Take care. See ya. All right. You guys mind if I do the uh, closing? Go right ahead. No, please do. Go for it. All right. So as a tradition, I just want to thank everybody for showing up today to the match. Um, I had technical difficulties today on my end with my internet, but I'm glad I was able to make it as well. Uh, thank you to the staff for holding it down for me for like, what was it like three, four hours while I was gone? I really appreciate that from you guys. Um, you know, Elmo, Freed, Boris, and MJ, you guys all did a great job. And I'm really happy that I have so many people around that are just like so, I don't know, it was just so fun watching. It was a different experience for me, just completely being on the outside and looking in. And it was pretty fun to watch. So thank you to you guys for doing all that and also this match as well. And uh, thanks to the viewers for coming out. Um, you know, we all, we all appreciate the support and the hype. And, uh, the next match should be happening at uh, is an hour and a half from now on the dot, if I'm not mistaken. That it should be yeah. a Yolo Master is playing over on is it Boris's stream, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Here. Uh, double triple chicken. I am also uh, supposed to be unless the schedule has changed. Yes. No, it has not. So yeah, it is going to be. So in an hour and a half on the dot from right now, we will be having Team Yolo Masters, which is the other half of the match from Thick Stacking 69, which we did earlier this morning. They will be doing their run, and from that match, we will be able to determine the winner of that individual, uh, you know, matchup. So definitely come back and check it out at 3 p.m. today, Pacific Standard Time. We'll be at Boris the Animal uh, TTV, which uh, looks like uh, Elmo has put in the chat for you guys. And then we will have the Chainsaw Enthusiast, which is the other half of this specific matchup with Uwu. Uh, they will be playing their round at uh, 5 o'clock p.m. PST, if I'm not mistaken, which is two hours later. So mm -hmm. definitely come check out those matches. And um, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff left over in the day. So plenty of like, you know, more things to come. Uh, but thank you everybody for coming out. And uh, if you guys don't have anything else to say, I think that's going to be a good chance for us to end it. Mm, nothing much to say. Thank you all for viewing. Love you guys. Hope you have a great day. Watch out for more stuff. Definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't have to yell at them. One and a half hours. I'm sorry. Yeah, MJ. Just okay. kidding. <laughs> kind of, kind of fucked up, MJ. I can't believe that you do that. I need, crazy. okay, I need to muster the energy. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs>
<laughs> why would you why would you yell at people on the internet like that that's that's so messed up you <laughs> just got me hyped for the next match now let's go <laughs> we need uh we actually we need ill to uh do his his hype yell <laughs> that is that, that nothing will get you more hype than him getting <laughs> getting get hyped up and screaming let's go <laughs> All right, all right, guys. Y'all take it easy. Right. Thanks again for coming out. And thank you to you all here as well. Uh, you four. Appreciate you guys being here with me. And uh, we'll see you guys us. in the next match. 3 o'clock p.m. PST, an hour and a half from now. Twitch.tv slash Forest the Animal TTV. See you there. Yeah. Take care, everyone. Later, all.